Well, I can remember my father going back and forth a lot. <laughs> and um, it, was a, it was a little deal in those days. It wasn't, I mean, it was such a small company that uh, for us to get something very special and take it to something even more special um, was a was an exciting move, I think. I can remember my father doing a lot of those things. I mean, I remember him going to uh, Scotland when we brought uh, Usher's Green Stripe into the uh, mix. And um, so, you know, at Jack Daniels, that, that was a, a big deal. Uh, I think that my father and my uncle and the Motlows were friends and the Motlows just picked Brown Foreman out because that's the kind of company they wanted to have their great whiskey in our mix. And I think it, you know, it was perceived and I hope still is that it will continue to be a family-owned company. And that, that, that was, I think that was very important. One of the biggest things I remember most of all was my father coming home from work with about six little pints of whiskey. And they all had a percentage on them. And it was when Brown Foreman was trying to figure out what, what to do with Old Forrester besides having it be in bond, 100 proof. So there were all these different proofs written on the bottles. And they were lined up in our little pantry on the counter to try out, and not for me, because I was so young, but to try out. And find out what we were going to end up with. And we ended up with 86 proof. But that was, that was one of the early memories to me about, uh-oh, we need to make some changes here and we'll start with our own products first.